Okay, here is a spiral motion demo, and we'll see how it goes. This was uh, the toolpath I created in Aspire using the spiral gadget. And uh, the idea is just to give it a, uh, a spiral toolpath to follow to observe how the axes are working together. Checking to make sure everything's lining up and staying lined up. This is just popping off the track a little bit. I may have to add something to that to keep that E chain in place. This one kind of does okay. This E chain here, I don't know if you can see my hand. The big E chain over there, it's doing quite well. I don't like the catches that I see in that. I don't know if you spotted that, but as it moves every once in a while it'll, it'll kind of catch and then jerk to catch up. That may be a symptom of having it too tight or having the, uh, the rollers too tight on the, uh, the conduit. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm not familiar enough with that. Uh, the idiosyncrasies of this machine. But the next run, this is at uh, 5,000 millimeters a minute, I think. And the next run, I think I'll bump it to I playing with eight, eight thousand. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna zoom in on that a bit. We'll try. Tilt that up a little bit. Photographer, I am not. <laughs> the spiral is from a center point all the way out to a thousand millimeters. probably get a pretty good idea as to how much it's skipping around if I reuse a pen and uh, have it loaded in there and have it draw that spiral, but I don't have my, uh, my torsion box done yet. I spent all day today uh, fixing a wiring issue with the machine on the y-axis and uh, repairing pellet stone, so this is as good as it gets. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this, I'm going to send it home, and then I'll restart the file at a much higher speed. We type G1 X0 Y0 F7000. There we 
we go. Okay, let's tweak that G code file a little bit. We're going to make that from a 5,000. We give it 8,000. Save that. Start it. This is at 8,000 millimeters a minute. Let's see how it goes. That little jerk, I don't know what that deal is about that. That high speed move there. Oh, it's really angry now. I don't wonder if it's the the Rambo controller can't keep up with it. Because this looks really sad. That's just bizarre. Belt tension looks good. I haven't tested the uh, the auto square feature yet because I'm not quite sure how it works or how to kick it off yet. I haven't found that piece of information yet. For those of you that do any kind of aircraft maintenance, you may notice a, an aircraft clamp or sheet metal clamp hiding right there use a pair of Clico pliers to put that in place. It might be for airplanes, but they're awesome for holding just anything together. All this was done with Clicos. Unfortunately, my air compressor wasn't working right, so I couldn't properly buck rivets into it. So It is what it is, I suppose. It's really jittery. Not sure why. We're at eight minutes. Wow. Okay. I may cut that down so. So don't be surprised if you're watching this on YouTube and I say eight minutes and that's not eight minutes. Stepper motor's cool as cucumber. I could probably bump the, the power to it a little bit. Yeah. That's just about room temperature. Let's take a peek at the other ones. Oh, looks like it's done.
Okay, well, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll put another video together when I get the, uh, the torsion box done and I can actually start drawing or cutting with this thing. Thanks for watching, folks.